Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Halfway done with the course, Baby Mario Shaped Hole, let's do it! Um, this one, as tempting as it is to get on in 2, you're probably going to end up getting on in 3, just because of all the trees and hazards around this place. It's a pretty tricky hole for being a par 5, but very, very doable. Let's see here. Oh, 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 hold on. Can I get away with that? Because, yeah, because when I have the driver out, I can use its curvature to get around the trees. Oh, can I get on in two? Can I get on in two? Yes! Now, if I make this eagle pot, I can make a little bit of leeway. On the tournament, uh, but will I be able to get it in the hole? I'm not gonna move the cursor, I'm just gonna hit it about 15 and let the brakes do its thing. Ah, so close. Well, I got a birdie, so that's that makes me happy because I got on the green in two. And uh, no special theme this hole here, just get your ball out there. Uh, actually, no special characterization to this hole here. Um, 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 um. This is, right there is putting me into bunker territory, but I think that'll be a safe shot there. And I just don't want to be short and end up in the other bunkers, basically. And this is going to be just fine. I'm not too worried about losing power shots at this moment in time. Uh, just a matter of using them when I need them, really. Um, uh, I think I'm going to put backspin on this, and... Uh, Aim it as is, probably, I think, maybe... Yeah, uh-oh, uh-oh, maybe not. That's gonna be kinda short of the hole. Kinda. Oh, 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 oh! Actually, that's pretty good. Okay, I can make that. I can make that. I surely can make that, I hope. <laughs> nah, I made it. That's not a difficult putt at all. Alright, six under. Let's keep up those birdies. Piranha plant shaped hole here. Yep, we're going old school Mario 3 here. By the way, you can also do aiming on this map if I didn't show you that before. Uh, in fact, I don't think I did show you that before. But anyway, uh, this hole is pretty hard to reach a green in two uh, because of all these hazards. But basically what you're aiming to do is not have a uh, like any sort of tree in your way, if at all possible. So what I'm going to do here is aim out probably towards the bunkers. And it's not going to reach the bunkers because of the wind, but all I want to do here is get past the trees. Even if I hit the trees, it doesn't really matter, as long as I get past the trees. And there we go. That's pretty good. And I got a bad lie here, but this is why it's hard to hit the green. Look out, Look at that thin landing area. Yeah! Um, I think what I'm going to do here is aim out there. Wait, 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 no. Three wood's way too much. Look at that. I'm going to do two iron with a power shot. And hit it up there. Max power, and I'm not aiming directly for the pin this time. I'm just going for the uh, the, the green. And oh, that was that's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> uh, how about there? See if I can roll her up to the hole. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh yeah, seven under through twelve. Oh, this is a mean par three. Look how tiny this green is. This is just. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can get it on here. I'm not counting on it, though. I'm just gonna hit it there with backspin. Uh, since we're hitting it to it slightly diagonally, it's slightly easier than it would be hitting it- Oh my god, I made it on! <laughs> it's slightly easier than if we would've hit it on at a more lateral angle. Uh, like, you know, from the sides, because, yeah. But anyway, uh, I think that's a good angle. Please make the putt, PK Gam. Yeah! Yes! Alright, it's tied for the lead. Uh, Mario Eagle's somewhere around here, though, so be careful of that. Um, I think what I'm gonna do... Well, I don't know about hitting there. Uh, maybe I should try and hit there. Yeah, I'll go for that. That little area there. This is a Koopa-shaped hole, by the way. So, uh... Yeah! <laughs> Love these themed holes, by the way. Uh, oh, that's a nice shot. I'll give you a little course view here, actually. Uh, those little landing areas there are just like little islands they added over there to give you a little bit of extra extra strategy for whatever you want to 
uh, wherever you, I should say, can go. And, uh, uh I think this will be okay. Between the lie that I have and the wind in my face. I want to land this ball with as high of a shot as I possibly can. Ooh, really nice. Oh, don't underestimate the uh, the break on these side hill lies. Give it a little bit more than you might think. And I should say these side hill putts. There we go. Birdie, birdie, birdie! Birdie, birdie, birdie! Uh oh, trees in my way. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, what? What? Huh? Um, how about, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I gotta get my ball out there, because this par 4 is long if I if I land my ball over around in here. So I prefer hitting around there, but I don't want to be in the water, so I'm gonna hit, like, there on the gauge. And I, I, I want to use the driver, because I gotta curve my ball around the trees. So yeah, oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Okay, I'm good. I was, I was a little worried that I was going to be in the semi-rough there, but I'm okay. I think I'm going to put topspin on this one. Uh, make it go a little bit lower and cut out the wind a bit. And there we go. I had a lot of green to work with there, so I could play with that a little bit. You know, rather than trying to drop it down from above. Uh, one pixel over to the left should make this putt. Probably, maybe, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm playing the back nine way better than I played the front nine. Oh yeah, look at those, look at those birdies. They're just pouring in. <laughs> oh, the Goomba hole. Oh, the Goomba hole. It's it's not hard to par, but because you have such a tight landing area, it's it's not easy to birdie at all. Uh, I'm gonna try my best. That's all I can do. I did my best, I have no regrets. This is gonna be long. <laughs> That's alright. Okay, mm let's try and chip it in. Mm how about... Yeah, that there, that there looks good, actually. And hit it like so, the wind should pull it over to the hole a little bit. Oh, maybe I should have hit it at uh, 15 power. Ah, uh, that's alright. A hard power 3 like that, I'm okay with power on. Uh, uh, 17 here, it doesn't have any special theme, but just look at all the water on this hole, it's... It's ridiculous! And by the way, black is out of bounds uh, on the maps, if you didn't know that. You can see all this stuff, yeah, this is out of bounds, it's a cliffside, because we're out in the middle of the sky, I guess you could say. And wow, I'm, I'm terribly in between clubs here, like, look at this. This is probably gonna put me in the water, because it's not gonna carry the water, even with no wind. Take the power off, and it's gonna put me in the rough if I don't hit like a notch back. And to hit the three wood, I'll probably be in the bunker. <laughs> I, I actually think this is gonna be the safer shot though. If I if I hit there, put backspin on it, and uh, just hit to like the rough or something like that. Uh, maybe could be, might be. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. Uh, Semi rough. That's actually pretty good. Uh, I'm not gonna reach a green in two here. At least I don't think. But I will put the ball out, I'll say over there, just to be safe. Sound good? I thought so. Okay, okay. That might be in the bunker. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. actually, that, if it's in the front of the tree, that could be bad. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Going on there. Okay, that, that's, I'm safe. Yeah, I can go under the tree branch, that's good. Uh, how far can I get away with using... I mean, like, what club can I get away with using at its highest loft? Probably the three iron, just to be safe. And let's check the, the angle. Alright, so let's go for something like that with backspin. Just doing a punch shot under the trees here. There we go, very nice. Alright. I got a little excellent there as well, if you didn't see. And I got my birdie. Yeah, that the second shot left me in a... Kind of a dicey spot. <laughs> All right, as long as I part of this hole, I will, I will win this tournament. So, what I'm gonna do here is play my ball out to Mario's ear. Yeah, that's a, uh, it's Mario. And why I'm gonna play it at his ear is because the shorter the shot that I have to my approach, the easier it'll be. You know, uh, my short game is my strength, and this is like, my short game is my strength in real life as well. Uh, you know, for golf, so 
It, it must just be something in a person's perspective uh, that that determines strengths or weaknesses in golf, probably. You know, it doesn't really have anything to do with something physical or something like that. Alright, let's try there. And backspin. It should go right up to the hole, nice and soft. Uh, that's not bad, I guess. I was expecting it to land on the green, though. Anyway, I'm trying to chip it in, because why not end this off with a bang? Here we go! Go in the hole, go in the hole, go in the hole, yeah! <laughs> I actually wasn't expecting to get that, because the green's really fast here with all the break. There we go! 12 under power, I want it outright. If I would have tied Mario at 11, I, was, I still would have been counted as the winner, but uh, 12 under power is an outright win. Look at Goomba, with no arms, got 10 under par! <laughs> Amazing! And there we go! The game is mostly over! <laughs> There's just that one side quest over at the Golf Guru who's pitch and putt, as well as some collectibles that I can get uh, out in the overworld, and you get a lot of experience points for this. I'll increase my impact area. Actually, I'll do it again, and then I'll keep my ball straight. I just wanted to do it again just to make sure that my ball would, uh, would uh, stay with good impact area. And there we go! Victory to Kid! I present this trophy to Kid for winning Peach's Tournament! Thank you! Thank you! Congratulations, Kid! I got all the tournaments! I got all the tournaments! BTS! And... Credits! Oh, officialness! Like, official ending credits, credits. <laughs> and be on the lookout for some uh, little secrets they're gonna give away in the credits here. Because... Well, yeah, there's, there's, some, there's some other stuff that's out there besides just one-up mushrooms that I haven't collected yet. So, let's just watch these little cutscenes out in the credits here, and by the way, as I always say, I didn't make the game, these awesome people did, I just made the walkthrough to help and entertain people. You cannot play a game by watching videos of someone play a game, so there be no copyright infringement. <laughs> so anyway, uh, there's the, the lounge with the pathway that I thought was a hallway. I freaking <laughs> Ages ago. I thought it was going to be something that was going to open up uh, later on back as a kid, but nope, never did. But then I realized, oh, that's the wall. That's, that's the wall. <laughs> and then I hit my head on the wall. <laughs> so uh, what else is there to find out in the game world besides those one-up mushrooms? Well, mm, you're going to have to see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, ho, ho. Uh, yes, I know I'm being uh, purposefully spoiler-free here, but you will see. <laughs> Actually, the thing that you can find out in the overworld can uh, give you experience points, besides the, the one-up mushrooms. So perhaps I should have showed them a little bit earlier, but it's alright. <laughs> oh, and by the way, um, when you beat all the tournaments and the matches, you know, out in the story mode here, you unlock Wario as a playable character, so... That is pretty cool. By the way, you can also play uh, match games versus Mario, Luigi, and Wario. Uh, but you can't do them in the story story mode, you can do it from the main menu type screen. But uh, that is definitely something that I'll be doing a little bit later as well. I think because I had uh, two match games at the uh, uh, Doom Club, uh, what I'm gonna do here is like play Luigi at... Uh... Oh, watch this, watch this, watch this. Look at that, look at that! That's the kinds of things you could find out in the overworld if you check things. That's what I was looking for at the Ravenswood Golf Course, but I guess the person just wasn't there at the time or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, what I'm going to do here uh, after in the post-game, post-game type thing is play the match games over, uh, like, at, at the courses that I ha haven't played a, th a second match game at. So I'm going to play, like, Luigi at the Marion Club, um... A Wario at the Palm Club and Mario at the Lynx Club, something like that. 
I'm not too sure just yet. I, I just thought I would put them in that order because, you know, it, it kind of plays more to what they can do. Because Luigi's got a, I, I believe Luigi's got a, got a drive of 220 or something like that. So the, the shorter course of the Marion Club would help him uh, play at his best. Uh, rather than playing at something harder. Uh, Wario's drive of 250 is okay at the Palm Club, and Mario's drive of 270 is great at the Lynx Club, because he uh, outdrives some of the more uh, devastating obstacles of that course and whatnot. So yeah, it's gonna be a fun post-game. And uh, you can get experience points for uh, beating them in match play as well, so... They, I mean, they do go towards your character's experience points, so... There, they are something that you can do to uh, get the most of your character as soon as possible, I suppose. And there is the saddest cutscene of the world. Of the most arrogant golfer in the world. <laughs> okay, I guess he sort of kind of deserved uh, to be taken down a couple notches with that attitude he had. Yeah! <laughs> so I, I don't really regret beating him. <laughs> And uh oh, there's the invitation! Dear Mario, I've baked the cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool, Peach, or something like that in Mario 64. <laughs> I wonder if that letter is a reference to that letter um, from Mario 64 in a way. But then again, I don't know, maybe not. I mean, Mario's gotten a lot of letters from Peach uh, along, uh, through the years, as uh, letters seem to be the primary means of communication between Peach and Mario. And flying high into the sky! And he just kind of freezes there. The, the, the whole perspective of that, and the proportions of where you would be in the sky and, you know, the overworld sprite, just looks weird there, doesn't it? <laughs> and there's Toad! With the best voice in the world! Oh yeah! With Peach. The Tramp of the Mushroom Kingdom! <laughs> and there's angry Yoshi scolding Bowser for thinking that I was gonna waste his time at the tournament, but oh no, no, I beat this tournament first try! Oh yeah! Well actually no, not first try, it took me a bunch of tries on my first, uh, uh, my first attempt of uh, playing this tournament when I first played through the game and whatnot. But, uh, I mean, first try this playthrough. <laughs> and... Dot, dot, dot. Oh, they know there's more. They know there's more. So with that, I'm gonna end off the video here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video when I do some post-game stuff. Yeah!